The state of Texas has recently seen some of the country's largest increases in coronavirus cases and a record number of hospitalizations in the last two weeks. That's a huge concern for public health officials who say if precautions aren't taken now, hospitals could see a dangerous influx of patients with COVID-19. David Purr serves as the health authority for Houston's public health department. So the hospitals right now are managing it and they've got surge plans in place. But if, if the community doesn't start behaving differently, uh, there's going to be a limit to what the hospitals will handle. It's not today, that's three weeks from now. Texas was one of the first states to begin lifting restrictions designed to control the spread of the virus. But on Friday, Governor Greg Abbott ordered bars, many of which had been open since May, to close and ordered restaurants to limit indoor seating to 50 percent of normal capacity. Per says people need to cooperate with the restrictions so that hospitals don't get overwhelmed. And if they hear the message and if they start wearing the mask and social distancing, we should be able to get through this. If they ignore the message, if they think it's political, if they think it's fake news, if they come up with some excuse not to wear the mask and physically distance themselves, we could be in a world of hurt. Medical director at the Center for Critical Care at Houston Methodist Hospital, Faisal Masood, says now is not the time to panic. So we are, you know, managing all this uh, appropriately right now. We have capacity to take care of a lot more patients. However, what I would do put a word of caution is that this is not a long-term sustainable. If things don't change in the next four weeks, then it'll be a different conversation. Houston, Texas is not alone. The rising numbers of cases is part of a nationwide resurgence in states that were spared the brunt of the initial outbreak or moved early to lift restrictions on residents and businesses.